first man. I'm here in my car and I just saw first man. I wanted to give you my initial reactions. There's been a little bit of controversy regarding first man and I haven't done a movie review in a while but I felt compelled to do it because I saw so low audience reviews on this movie from Rotten Tomatoes. It has the highest Rotten Tomatoes score of any movie in theaters right now but a very low audience score in comparison so not that low it's like still around 60 percent but i think it's even lower than i don't know if it's lower than venom but it's pretty low i mean for a movie that well esteemed by critics and the reason was initially because uh there was controversy regarding the planting of the flag scene. Now, this movie is very, very emotional and dramatic and internal. And Ryan Gosling's character is dealing with a family tragedy. And he's reflecting upon that when he's on the moon. It does show the flag in the background. Um, and uh, I kept thinking of Independence Day when I saw the moon landing. And they didn't say, we came in peace for all mankind or show the plaque. Because I just kept thinking of Independence Day when I saw that. But, um, no, there wasn't, there wasn't any, like, negative, unpatriotic themes at all. But what I did think was unfair, and this is based on a book, I don't know if this really happened. I thought it was unfair to portray Buzz Aldrin, who's still alive, to portray him as such a jerk. Corey Stahl, great character actor. The whole cast is amazing. Claire Foy, Ryan Reynolds, Kyle Chandler, a bunch of name actors and people you recognize in this movie make it a great ensemble piece. But... Um, Corey Stahl's performance is great, but I just don't like what he said. A couple times he made light of people who had died and was very disrespectful to the dead. Um, he was like, oh great, this means I can go on the moon because that guy died. You're all thinking it, right? And then this other time someone died, he's like, oh, I was kind of implying that it was his fault. Oh, he came in too fast on the landing. Psh, that's probably what it was. And then the officer like, you didn't investigate the crash and I didn't, so I don't presume to know. That's kind of jacked up, and um, I wonder if there's any buzz online, no, no pun intended, any buzz online about that, about that aspect of it. And I don't know if it's a dig at um, <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. He didn't like, he didn't like uh, the fact they didn't have the flag planting scene, and he didn't, he did, uh, he, and he he did comment on that, and. And he is conservative, so I feel like they might have saw he was like a free pass to to like portray him in such a critical way. I don't like that. That I think is disrespectful. I mean, that's jacked up. Like I wouldn't want to be portrayed like the, like an a-hole like that on screen. But um, other than that, I mean, it's okay. I don't think conservative people are gonna like that. And um, but you should still watch it though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. I could see why a lot of people were saying it's boring in the audience reviews. You have to like drama. If you don't like drama, then it's not your then it's not your deal. But it is a drama. It is what it is. You know, it's not like a, a alien invasion movie. <laughs> There's gonna be drama tension and if you're a big fan of um, Ryan Reynolds is that his name Ryan Gosling sorry <laughs> it's not that like that movie life with Ryan Reynolds that came out uh, the other year with um, Jake Gyllenhaal and the and the aliens okay it's not that but it is what it is it's an Oscar worthy big dramatic cinematic um, modern modern day wannabe masterpiece and I mean it's not the best thing in the world I would give it 
three and a half out of five stars. Very good. Um, not the best movie I've ever seen. I just saw uh, Bad Times at the El Royale this week. And last week I saw that wonderful A Star Is Born. I love The Star Is Born. I think that's better. It's going to win more Oscars for sure. But this is better than Bad Times at the El Royale. It was good. Um, I think it could have used a little bit more twists, Bad Times. But First Man, nothing you could do to improve that movie. I mean, it's as good as they can make that story. Um, it's very intriguing. And I recommend it. So go see First Man. I give it three and a half stars. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Have a good one.